So, let's imagine the following. You are in the position where you are building currently a SaaS application, and now you are at the step where you have to implement auth. And now you have two options. Either use a hosted um, SaaS provider, like for example, Clerk or Auth0 or WorkOS, or you roll your own auth using a library like Next Auth. And now the question comes, which one should you use? And it's not an easy question to answer since both um, providers or both options in that sense have pros, cons, caveats, or you could say the answer is a double-sided knife because there's no right or wrong answer. It depends on your use case, on your business state, um, how your application is built, etc. But after this video, you'll actually understand what option is the right one for which business use case. So now let's roll the video. So let's talk about the use case first of all. So let's say you're building a very simple application where all you need is basic authentication. That means OAuth using, for example, GitHub, and then maybe also magic links, something like that. And now what should you use in that case? So it's very simple. You don't need no account linking, enterprise auth, um, organizations. You don't need it. All you need is basic auth, and then I guess uh, authorization using your database. Um, in that case, you should actually use next off. Forget about anything that's hosted, so in that sense, Clerk, or Zero, Work OS, uh, Okta, whatever you uh, know, don't use it. Use next off. Use something open source and uh, self hosted. Why is that? Because if you're building something so simple, there's a pretty high probability that not every user that you onboard pays for your service. Because if it's that case there where you have, for example, 10,000 users, and from those 10,000 users, maybe 10, 50, 100 people only pay for your service, I would actually say it's not uh, very good to use a hosted provider. Why is that? Well, a hosted provider like Clerk of Zero or WorkOS has, of course, a cost behind it. You pay to use the services, which is normal, right? And the problem is that these prices can be quite high. So if you have an application where not every user pays for your service, it will be actually not a uh, not good expense for you because you pay way too much but get uh, not enough in return for what you pay. But now let's take the following. You have a B2B SaaS and you have enterprise customers. So for example, you have Google as your own customer. Imagine that. In that case, forget next off. Just forget it, uh, get it out of your mind, forget it. In that case, I would use a hosted SaaS provider. So Clerk of Zero or WorkOS. Why is that? Well, because you will actually need features that you don't get using Next Off, or which you can get, but have to build on your own and which will take a lot of time. So if you have enterprise customers, you for example need SSO. You can get that using Next Off, but it will be, I don't know, is it simple? It's not quite simple, but you can do it. But I wouldn't suggest that. Also, if you have a, a B2B SaaS, you'll actually have to need to create organizations. Think about it like that. You have a company, right? Company ABC. This company has a CEO, managing director, whatever. And then you have also the normal, in quotations, workers, which have normal roles, right? And the same is also for your application. If you have a B2B application, which is a multi-tenant application, for example, and you have an organization which you want to onboard to your application, you will have to have a pretty good um, organization layer on your auth layer, which means if you onboard a company, a organization, what you have to do is a good authorization system where the admin, the CEO, for example, can actually choose other admins and other members. So what I mean with that is you need a good authorization layer in that sense um, that not every user which is in a organization can do everything. So you need, for example, different roles for different users in your organization. You can do that using Next Off. It's doable. I, uh, I did it myself. It's fine. You can do it. I wouldn't do it actually, because why should you? If you think about it, you have a B2B SaaS. In most cases, that means that every user that comes to your application also pays for your application. And if that happens, then the question comes, why should I even bother building it my, uh, on myself? Why should I bother implementing MFA, so multi-factor off, which is not uh, so easy next off? Why should I bother uh, creating this whole organization layer, um, uh, authorization layer? Why should I bother even actually um, do uh, everything like that? 
Why should I? Why, uh, right? If every user that comes and pays for my service, it would just be much uh, simpler. Another thing is if you actually opt in to use next off and actually build your own off layer, the problem is that you actually also have to build uh, the UI for that. So in that sense, you have to build the sign up page, the login page, the forget password page. You have to handle form errors. Uh, you have to handle the whole logic. You have to do a lot of things to make it work. The thing is with Clerk of Zero and Work OS is that you actually can use the hosted um, signup pages. And the nice thing with that is everything is done for you automatically. Error handling, uh, checks for password, um, this whole connection to OAuths and magic links, everything is done for you. And at the end of the day is if you use, for example, a hosted application, you can make off work in I don't know, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, if you're not the fastest, which is also fine. But if you use the next off as your authentication layer, my man, you will have to, I don't know, 12 hours, 13, 14, 15, 30, 50. I don't know um, how complex your application is, but the more complex your application becomes, the harder it becomes uh, to achieve this using a open source authentication layer. That means if it's something very simple and you don't need anything uh, which is complex, then don't bother using next uh, uh, clerk, any hosted provider. But if you're looking at actually creating something complex with authorization, uh, organizations, multi-factor auth, SSO, I don't know, something that you really don't want to build your, on your own, hey, forget next off, use something hosted. Why should you use something? Uh, why should you build it on your, uh, by yourself if there's something like that? But that's if you think about it in a deaf uh, mind, in a deaf environment, I guess. But let's say you're a business owner. What do you do now? Because at the end of the day, if you use a host provider, a host that says like clerk of zero work OS, there's of course a cost associated with it. And for example, the problem is, for example, um, I think yesterday or the day before, I can't quite remember, um, Off Zero made a blog article where they said um, that they have changed their pricing to be more accessible or some, I don't know, marketing, stuff like that. At the end of the day, what they really did is increase your prices by 300%. Again, three, zero, zero. 300% increase. Imagine you pay $1,000 a month for Off Zero. Now you pay $3,000 a month just from today to tomorrow. There's such an increase out of nowhere. And now imagine you have 10,000 users inside of your Off Zero database. What do you do now? Do you just say, yeah, fine, okay, I will pay this 300% increase. It is what it is. Or do you say I migrate off and build all of this nasty uh, stuff uh, by myself? And well, that's a hard question to answer and I can't answer it for you. It's not that simple as said. You have two options. You either migrate to a different provider like Clerk, WorkOS, or you go and build it by yourself. And now the thing is, if you build it by yourself, you will have to waste or not waste, I guess, but you have to take a lot of hours to build what you have using this hosted provider. You have to build authorization. You have to build, um, I guess, this whole multi-factor off if you need it, the organization layer. You have to build everything by yourself. And it takes a lot of time, a lot of, uh, a lot of money, actually, because you have to pay your employees for that. It's not that simple. But let me summarize it like that. If you have a B2B application, so you have a business to business application where each user or, mo or let's say almost every user that you onboard pays for your service, then just pay the fee. I mean, God, what is it? Five cents, six cents per user, then just pay it. If your user brings in hundred dollars a month and you have to pay, I don't know, 10 cents a month to your off provider, then do it. I mean, the headache that you will have from building your own off layer or your own enterprise off layer is way bigger than if you try to use a hosted provider. And don't even uh, get me started on if you actually become an enterprise, you'll have even more problems using your own off layer. Why is that? Because, well, you have to actually also somehow achieve um, certain security risks, right? Or not achieve them, but prevent them. And for that, you will have to actually get certified, etc., etc. You probably already saw that always if you scroll down to the website, there's this whole GDPR or whatever there is. Uh, you have to be compliant to certain regulation. And the thing is, you can achieve that using Next Off. You can do that. That's fine. Do you want to do that? That's the real question. Do you really want to do that? I don't know. I wouldn't. 
So what I would say is, if your application is basic, B2C, not every user brings in money, or actually most users don't bring any money, and all you want is actually just to authorize them, then just use Next Auth, forget it. But let's say you build a B2B SaaS where every user brings in money, uh, pays to use your service, then use the clerk. I mean, really, who cares? Man, this five cents, six cents, sure, you could save them using uh, building your own off layer, but it's still a double-sided knife because you think, oh, yeah, I can save that much money, but in the same case or in that, but in the still in the same time, you actually have to pay using a different method, and that's time. Building your own off layer takes huge amounts of time. You have to actually maintain it. You have to handle errors. It's not easy. So if it's a B2B SaaS, use something hosted. It will save you a lot of headaches. I talk from experience. I have tried to build my own authentication layer and scale it to a bigger size. It, it wasn't fun. I will tell you it like that. But um, if you are building something simple, forget about Clerk or anything like that. But now I hope I could actually help you and try to understand the both options and what pros and cons we have, because at the end of the day, it's not an easy option to choose. And there's also not a right or wrong option. It is what it is. You choose what you choose and it will have pros, it will have cons. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I will see you on the next video, which will drop in a few days. So now, bye.